How did I get here? Living and working in such a beautiful place. I was born in the 50s in a two-bedroom terraced house, Salford in Manchester. I came from a loving family. Dad was a cook in the Air Force, later a pipe fitter. Mum worked for Mom as a sewing machinist. My earliest memory was first day at nursery school. My clothes peg was an umbrella. Luckily, we lived close by. Mum tells me the only way she would get me to stay was by sticking my dummy through the nursery railings at dinner time. Scrapes we got into in the school summer holidays. Spending all day digging up a railway sleeper from a disused line and dragging it home along the canal to our bonfire. Suddenly my brother Alan, who was aged about six, me being ten, falls in canal. I jumped in to save him. Only snag. I couldn't swim. A lone fisherman on the opposite bank pulled us both out. The quickest way to get to the local picture house was by crossing a railway bridge on another gang's territory. This particular time we tried to cross, but our paths were blocked by two lads with an air rifle. Every time we tried to cross, they fired. They've only one shot, someone said. Can't get all of us. We ran, they fired, and I got it on my trailing hand. Football has played a major part in my life. My earliest memory was the Munich air disaster. We lived near Old Trafford. I remember a neighbour cycling to the club to read the updates pasted on the club windows. Then knocking on our door telling us about the progress of Matt Busby and team. We didn't have the news saturation we have these days. Leaving school at 15, being employed as a fitter in a local asbestos factory was my rude awakening to work in life. This was the time when people were learning how dangerous asbestos was, but the people who were there thought it was a job worth holding on to. This did not mean they didn't have a sense of humour about their situation. When someone died, it was customary for someone to attend the funeral and give our respects. <laughs> One of the favourite quotes when I how the funeral went was, not too bad, but it took three days to create the bugger. A busy, fulfilling life raising two great lads, a loving wife, getting involved in the local community, being a counsellor, and running a local youth group for 20 years, and a lifelong love of music. In 1976, I came to live and work at Dunsop Bridge Trout Farm. In 2011, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease or I prefer to call it my Parkinson's condition.